All right, I really did not think that it would come to this, but you've seen the title of the video and I have a lot of explaining to do. Literally so much has happened in the past 48 hours and I'm gonna try my best to give you as much context as possible, but yeah, there's just, there's a lot to go through. For those of you guys that don't know me, I'm Elliot. I go to college back in the States, but this semester I was studying abroad here in Barcelona, Spain. And I say was studying abroad because I'm pretty sure that's not really happening anymore. But anyways, uh, I have a lot to talk about and I have a lot of explaining to do, so. Yeah, let's just uh, get right into it. So I'm currently quarantined in this room with my roommate Luke, who's in the other room. Luke, Luke. Yeah. You wanna you wanna come help me film this? Oh yeah, stay hydrated. So like I said, uh, my roommate Luke here and I have been quarantined in this room for the past. Two, two days, and a half days, two and a half days now. Slowly so, descending into delirium. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're kind of going crazy, but how did we get here? So to go over the timeline, this past weekend, I was in Santorini and then I came back to Barcelona and I was feeling pretty sick on the flight. I don't know when you got sick. Monday. Monday. You came back on Monday. Right. And then I was still here mm -hmm. and that's when we both started. We both had fevers, coughing, yeah. sore throat. So yeah, if you don't know, those are like the main symptoms for coronavirus or COVID-19, I believe they're calling it. So that was three days ago on Monday when we started feeling sick. And then Tuesday, uh, we realized we should probably go see a doctor or get tested because we realized that last week we were hanging out with this guy from our school back in the States who got tested positive for Corona. And like, what, we went to the bar with him one night. Yeah, I was with him two nights. He's a friend of Luke's. Yeah. So Luke was like, was what, hugging him? Break. Yeah, like, you dap up your friend. So Luke was in close contact with this guy who got tested positive for Corona. And I also live with Luke, and I was also there both nights. Yeah. We were just like out with friends and Actually, there were a lot of other kids there. Some people probably don't even know that they were around someone who had corona. And so, when news broke out that this guy got tested positive for corona, I feel like that's when a lot of things started happening on Tuesday. Our study abroad program canceled, class, or canceled half of our classes for two weeks and basically moved all of our university classes online. A lot has been happening like every hour. And we were also getting swarmed with emails because our program manager, the emergency line, um, and also Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, like our college, was like just asking us like what are our symptoms, are we okay? Like trying to handle the situation. So we've been like sending a, a ton of emails. And we couldn't figure out how to contact right. the emergency line. Right, on Tuesday, there's this number that you call if you think you have corona to figure out whether you have uh, corona or not so they can come test you. Well, Tuesday, it was a shit show and everyone in Spain was calling this line because everyone was getting sick and like wanted to see if um, they had corona. So this line was down. They only spoke Spanish on the line. and like, They we, told us to use the app if we, we couldn't call them. The app didn't work. It was like a plan. complete mess. We told our program manager like we can't talk to the, this emergency line. So she said, okay, go talk to the front desk and use their phone. I go out there, I go to the front <laughs> desk and I say, hi, I really need to call the 061 line. And apparently I didn't know- Corona emergency line? I didn't know this at the time, but it's only a Corona emergency line. So immediately as, as soon as I said 061, the guy at the front desk looks at me with like wide eyes and he takes a <laughs> few steps back and he's like, oh, the emergency line? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he literally took a few steps back and he widened his eyes. Yeah, anyways, they wouldn't let us use the line um, and our phones weren't working or so we thought. Apparently it was just because the lines were completely filled because everyone in Spain was trying to call this number. But they were speaking Spanish on the phone so I couldn't understand them. So basically the front desk like got in contact with the emergency line on our behalf, um, but we were really like out of the loop, didn't really know what was going on, still answering a ton of emails from Vanderbilt, from study abroad program, from now the front desk, um, and just- WhatsApp messages from So that. many messages, yeah. And while that was going on, our study abroad program manager, as well as the front desk, basically told us that we, we were not allowed to leave our rooms. And so that was kind of like the unofficial quarantine. Okay, so that was yesterday. And so today is Wednesday. Actually, it's like 
4 a.m. on Thursday, but it's it's pretty much Wednesday because we haven't slept US yet. Time. Yeah, so on Wednesday or today rather, um, we basically got an announcement from our school Vanderbilt back in the states that all classes were canceled and a ton of other schools also canceled classes. Like Harvard basically told all their students to move out within Which a week. Is insane! Can you imagine? Losing your last semester of college ever. That is literally terrible. So like the seniors don't get to have their senior year because the school said get out within a week. Um, so that's a complete shit show as well. Like some kids don't have places to go because they're international students. So like they don't have any place to go home. Yeah, it's just a mess. So there are, there are a lot of problems associated with that. And basically like almost every college in the US now is doing online classes. For the semester and telling their kids to get off campus also what happened today was we finally got in touch with the emergency line for people wanting to get tested for corona i had a fever two nights ago um it was actually really bad i like woke up in the middle of the night i was yes, shivering so, well, i was really hot you were hot you were shivering i was, was so cold opposite. i don't know why but like i had i had two layers on and two layers of blankets and I was like, this is the coldest I've ever been, and I was just shivering. And so it I've been was like, like normal temperature. I was just like, for me, I was hot. so cold, and so I was like popping Advil's in the middle of the night. But it's gotten a lot better. Our fevers are gone now. Um, but anyways, we're, we're getting it's ahead of ourselves. Bad. Today, the emergency uh, health officials, the official like health officials, um, official health Defo. officials, <laughs> health authorities of of Barcelona or Spain, they came in and they tested us for Corona. I have footage because I set up the camera when they uh, came in. So I'll play that now. How old are you now? Um, about the same as earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyways, so this guy comes in, um, asks us about our symptoms. He gives us a little test like, swabs our mouth and our nose and that's like all of it i guess and then he tells us that we are not allowed to leave our room under any circumstance yeah <laughs> and he's like an official health authority from barcelona from spain oh boy and so it begins uh, yeah, that's when uh, our official quarantine started. But we'll find out in 24 hours from that point. Less than 24 hours now, but he told us that we would find out within 24 hours whether or not we tested positive or negative for coronavirus. So it's currently 4 a.m. and yeah, we'll probably find out in like six hours or so whether or not uh, we have corona or not. <laughs> we can go home. Yeah, so that's another thing because we were just listening to the reason we're up so late um, is because we were listening to Trump's live address to the United States. We're on Luke's bed. We're watching this this uh, live stream, and Trump suddenly says that. Well, let me just play the clip. To keep new cases from entering our shores we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The new rules will go into effect Friday at midnight. So Luke and I hear this, and <laughs> Luke starts screaming. Like, <laughs> I started running down the hall. He just like, he just dipped out. I thought he left the room, like, I thought he broke the quarantine. Well, it was before he said the, um, like, the special yeah. Vacations for American citizens. I thought it was just like a complete ban. Yeah. So I was like, oh my god, it's over. We're gonna be stuck here. We yeah, but then he follows up with um with this. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings. So then that gives us a little bit more peace of mind, but we're still like freaking out. I call my parents, I book a flight, um I booked a flight back to the States for tomorrow morning. So not Friday. like tomorrow morning, but Friday morning because um, Trump basically said that they're not going to let people in from Europe starting Friday at midnight. So I booked my flight for Friday, but this is, it, all, it was all a contingency plan. Like I can't get on that flight if we have Corona. Yeah. My dad did the same thing. He booked one like that. So yeah, I only booked one because Luke's parents booked him one. I realized I should just in case. Basically in six hours or so, we figure out whether or not we have Corona. 
if we do have it, then we are stuck actually in this room for the next two weeks. We're literally quarantined in here for 14 days. Maybe stuck here for a month. Yeah, which is gonna suck. Um, so really hoping we don't have Corona, but I don't know. I don't know if the odds are in our favor because we spent a lot of time with that guy who had Corona. Showed all the symptoms. The symptoms were bad. Or... Yeah, I don't know. But if we don't have Corona, which hopefully is the case, then we're out of here in, in 48 hours, which is yeah. which is also crazy because I have to pack up my whole life and, and get on a plane. Literally three days ago, this wasn't even a Yeah, that, that's the thing. A week ago, we had 200 cases in Spain. Yeah, it was and, like- And now what is it at? Yeah. It's like over over 2,000 now. So like in, in a span of like seven days, less than seven days, like we, went, days. we went from 200 cases to 2,000. And like Spain has been increasing at a higher rate than like most other countries. But yeah, it's it's been a complete shit show here. Anyways. They gave us these masks when they visited us today so we can wear it while we're uh, out and about. But the, here's the thing. I don't know why they gave us these masks because we we're not leave. allowed to be out and about. <laughs> we're literally stuck in this room. So, so there are a few questions you might be asking, which is uh, like, Elliot, how do you get food? How do you uh, take out the trash? You know, are you allowed to have any visitors? How do you do laundry? How do you do laundry? <laughs> These are some great questions. First, the food situation. Today, we were basically told by the front desk, I'll literally show you guys, but I said, hey, how are we supposed to get food? It was around lunchtime, I was getting a little hungry, you know? Dude, they hit me with the, you are not allowed to leave the room under any oh, circumstance. Right. So I'm like, so how do we get food? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> For the Please. love of God. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, we talked to our um, study abroad program. We, we called the lifeline. We were like, yo, they're not letting us get food. They called our front desk and they're like, okay, you, you have to let them get food. So basically, we set up a system where uh, we, we're using this thing called Glovo, which is the Uber Eats of Spain and of Barcelona. Really good. It's pretty good. So we use a food delivery. The delivery guy comes to the front desk, delivers it to the people at the front. They come to our door, they knock really loud on our door and leave the, the food outside of our door. And, we and then- we wait a full minute before we can get it, which is just absurd. They keep on emphasizing this, but like we're not allowed to go out there until after a minute. Yeah, so that's how we get our food. Um, not allowed to have guests. Totally I right. haven't seen anyone other than Luke in the past 72 hours. <laughs> Okay, laundry. There's no way to do laundry. There's actually Not no way. Existent. So see how long we last. I'm running a little low on clothes, so um, it's not like we're going out and stuff. So it's not like we have to like change a ton. But the laundry is a little bit concerning. The trash is actually a bigger concern. It's already building up. <laughs> it's, it's building up over there. I think we're probably gonna get used to the smell and not realize how bad it smells in here. I actually have terrible smelling, so. Yeah, my nose is broken. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a problem soon. We're just kind of sitting around all day. Like, actually, I've been doing a little bit of work, but you know, we've been uh, we've been tanning, playing a lot of Smash. But like, it's still been at the point where it's like a little bit eventful. Like, yeah. Hearing news and stuff. Yeah. I feel like once we're positive, like then it's just gonna be like, oh yeah, we have to sit here for two weeks. Luke's already assumed that we're gonna be positive. 80-20, 80-20. I think, I think I agree with those odds. 80% likely we have Corona, 20% likely we don't. Also, we had a friend of ours try to deliver us some food, so we asked him to go to the supermarket, and like the supermarkets here are empty, like there was no chicken, no meat. Um, no vegetables. No, no vegetables. People are freaking out, I think, and, and trying to stock up on things. I hear that there's no toilet paper in the US. <laughs> which, I don't know if that's a problem. <laughs> which, we actually just got some. <laughs> yeah, we, we, like, on Monday before we felt really sick or before we thought anything of it, we, like, had a grocery run. I think that kept us alive, so. <laughs> Dude, we actually would have been screwed. Yeah, we like, would have been, we would have been pretty screwed, yeah. So we got lucky there. We got a care package today, so we got some water today. Friendly care package inbound. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been interesting, but that's been our life under quarantine for the past. I guess it's close to 72 hours now. It's better because we're in it together. Now. If I was alone, <laughs> I would totally go crazy. Different. We find out tomorrow whether we're trapped in this room for another two weeks. What other news is there? NBA is canceled. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Who's that other celebrity? Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks has Corona. I I mean at this point like. 
I think I feel like so many uh, people have it that don't know they have it. Yeah, it's gonna spread like wildfire. Yes, people are gonna get the the virus. Like, yes, it's gonna spread. The best we can do is like try to slow down the spread. But if you look at the countries like virus cases, like China, South Korea, they follow a pretty close S curve. The cases follow like the shape of an S, which means that with any country, like even if there's a big rise, like eventually it'll level off. You know, in the meantime, wash your hands, stay healthy, don't go around anyone who's coughing and clearly sick because maybe they have corona and they don't even know it because that was us for a little bit too. You know, I think people freaking out is actually more dangerous than the virus itself, so, you know, the best we can do is just, uh... Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on? That's so cliche. I, I've never heard that, actually. What's that from? Uh, Dory? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no, that's keep on swimming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That's probably the video. I feel like this is, uh, so much longer than I wanted it to be, but we had a lot to go through. And we figure out tomorrow whether or not we have it, so we'll keep you updated. We actually feel really good physically like yeah if we actually test positive like for a lot of people our age it'll show that the symptoms aren't that bad yeah so we're chilling we're healthy you know should be fine okay well that's our little life update um i really wanted to talk about the fact that i've been missing on youtube for the past month but i feel like there were other important things to talk about so i'll save that for another video but wish us luck um i'll keep you posted and tomorrow's the big day tomorrow's the big day it's just like uh you know awaiting a big decision like it's like college college <laughs> decisions figuring out if your wife is pregnant <laughs> all the big days you know all right thanks for watching see you soon